Well, unlike Hollywood movies, we have rarely had to deal with incoming asteroids on Earth, but as they say, it only takes one. Yeah, so NASA not taking any chances. Later this evening, in a first-of-its-kind mission, NASA will launch the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART for short. DART is going to test a method of deflecting an asteroid by sending a craft to collide with the small moonlet in a double asteroid system. Here to tell us more about that, NASA expert Brent Barbie, an aerospace engineering lecturer at the University of Maryland. Brent, welcome. Hello, thanks for having me. So let's start off with just the DART mission. It sounds like it could be right out of science fiction. Tell us about how it's going to work. So the DART spacecraft is going to launch. It's going to uh, spend a little bit less than a year traveling to the binary asteroid Didymos. And when the spacecraft collides with the smaller member of that system, which is named Dimorphos, uh, it's going to cause a small change in that asteroid's uh, orbit around its parent body. And then we can observe that change using telescopes from Earth and therefore uh, conduct our first experiment into how that technique works uh, in terms of knocking an asteroid off course. It's a technique that we could apply one day to a potentially hazardous asteroid that was on its way towards Earth. This is a just-in-case scenario. Is there a way to calculate the likelihood that an asteroid could pose a danger to Earth at some point in the near future? So asteroid and comet impacts on Earth are a continual natural process uh, happening all the time. Um, <clears throat> our meteor showers, the annual meteor showers, are examples of how Earth is hit uh, constantly by you know, many, many tons worth of material. Uh, and uh, in 2013, the Chelyabinsk uh, impact or exploded over Russia and injured about 1,600 people and caused about $30 million worth of damage. <clears throat> we think an event as impactful as Chelyabinsk might happen on the order of maybe once or twice a century. Um, but uh, there's a lot of asteroids out there that we haven't discovered yet. We're working hard to find all the ones that, that are yet undiscovered. Um, but because impacts can, can come at any time, uh, we're motivated to be prepared. So why is it targeting the moonlet as you described it, which is a, a moonlet of another asteroid as opposed to targeting the asteroid itself? So by targeting the moonlet of the asteroid, um, it allows us to conduct a test um, without requiring a, a larger, more complicated spacecraft system. So we can keep the mission um, efficient and affordable. And the reason for that is that um, it's, it's relatively a lot easier to induce a measurable change in the motion of the moonlet around its parent body than it is to induce a, a comparable level of change in the motion of the asteroid around the sun. Is there a way for the public to watch this mission as it unfolds and how can they get more information about it? Absolutely. Um, if you go to uh, nasa.gov uh, forward slash dart or nasa.gov forward slash live, um, you can uh, tune in and, and watch uh, the launch and the the other events that are happening um, online and learn a lot more about the DART mission. It's an exciting mission. We'll be watching it closely. I've been talking with NASA expert Brent Barbie. And Brent, thank you very much. My pleasure.